An Aviation Routine Weather Report, or METAR, is an hourly report of local weather conditions in the vicinity of an airport. These weather conditions include winds, visibilities, weather conditions, cloud coverage and heights, temperature, dew point, and the altimeter setting. The first item in the METAR is the type of report. METAR indicates a routine report, whereas SPECI indicates a special. A special is issued when a rapid weather change or critical information necessitates a new weather report be issued immediately. Otherwise, a routine report is issued once per hour. Next is the location identifier, followed by the date and time. In this example, this routine weather report for the Kansas City Downtown Airport was issued on the 12th day of the month at 10.54 Zulu time. The three-digit wind direction and two-digit wind velocity are given next. The example METAR shows winds from 320 degrees at 22 knots. In this case, the winds are gusting to 35 knots. Visibility is the greatest distance that can be seen through at least 180 degrees of the horizon and is reported in statute miles. The example visibility is two statute miles. At times of low visibility where the airport is equipped, runway visual range or RVR will be reported in addition. RVR is reported in feet for a particular runway. This example RVR visibility would decode to read RVR on runway 5 is 900 feet. An M prior to the visibility indicates less than. This example visibility would decode to read the visibility is less than one quarter statute mile. After the visibility, weather conditions are coded using their contractions. The weather conditions include the types of precipitation and obscurations. Types of precipitation include drizzle, rain, snow, snow grains, ice crystals, ice pellets, hail, snow pellets, and unknown precipitation. Obscurations include mist, fog, smoke, volcanic ash, widespread dust, sand, haze, and spray. These weather conditions have several descriptors, which are shallow, partial, patches, low drifting, blowing, showers, thunderstorms, and freezing. Other possible METAR weather conditions are dust or sand whirls, squalls, sandstorm, dust storm, funnel cloud, tornado, or water spout. If a weather condition is preceded by a minus or plus sign, it is light or heavy, respectively. For example, this code means thunderstorms with heavy rain. This example decodes to mean light freezing rain, fog, and haze. If VC is listed in the weather portion of the METAR, it indicates weather is in the vicinity between 5 and 10 statute miles from the observation station. For example, this code would mean there are showers in the vicinity of the airport between 5 and 10 statute miles from the station. In our example METAR, light rain is indicated. Next is cloud coverage and heights. Cloud coverage is described as few, scattered, broken, or overcast. Few means the cloud layer covers two-eighths of the sky or less. Scattered means the layer covers three-eighths or four-eighths of the sky. Broken clouds cover five-eighths, six-eighths, or seven-eighths of the sky. And overcast layers cover eight-eighths of the sky. The three numbers following sky coverage indicate height above the ground of the cloud bases in hundreds of feet. 
The example METAR tells us there are a few clouds at 1,200 feet above the ground, a scattered layer at 2,200 feet, and an overcast at 3,500 feet. The lowest cloud layer that is broken or overcast is called a ceiling. In this case, the ceiling is 3,500 feet. Sometimes overcast skies have no well-defined base. When indefinite ceilings exist at an airport, vertical visibility may be reported. For example, this code would indicate that an indefinite ceiling with a vertical visibility of 300 feet exists at the airport. Temperature and dew point are given next in degrees Celsius. This example shows a temperature of 9 degrees with a dew point of 4. If the temperature or dew point is negative, the negative temperature is preceded by the letter M. For example, this code would indicate a temperature of minus 2 with a dew point of minus 3. After the temperature and dew point comes the altimeter setting. In this example, the altimeter setting is 29.78. This example shows a METAR for Portland, Maine issued on the third day of the month at 0612 Zulu time. Auto, after the date and time, indicates the METAR was generated from an automated source. COR may also be placed in this position to indicate a correction to a METAR which was originally issued with an error. The winds are reported as calm, which is indicated on a METAR by all zeros for wind direction and speed. The visibility is one statute mile in mist with an overcast ceiling at 100 feet above the ground. The temperature and dew point are both 19 degrees and the altimeter setting is 29.84. This routine weather report for Austin, issued on the third day of the month at 0553 Zulu, indicates winds from 310 degrees at 13 knots. The winds are variable between 270 degrees and 350 degrees. Variable wind direction is reported when the wind direction varies by more than 60 degrees and the wind speed is above 6 knots. The report goes on to state the visibility was 10 statute miles with clear skies, a temperature of 26 degrees, dew point of 14, and an altimeter setting of 3002. Clear is used in a METAR to indicate that an automated weather source reported no clouds observed below 12,000 feet above the ground. If the METAR were to say sky clear, it would mean the skies were manually observed to be clear. METARs also have remarks which are often included, such as this example report from Wichita. After the altimeter setting, we are advised that a remark has been added. AO1 or AO2 means the remark was generated by an automated system. SLP is short for sea level pressure, which is reported in millibars. Since the sea level pressure in millibars is always fairly close to 1,000 millibars, the sea level pressure is shortened to the last three digits on the report. This report shows a sea level pressure of 1,010.7 millibars. If it read SLP 997, it would indicate a sea level pressure of 999.7 millibars. In this example, a sea level pressure of 1,009.2 millibars is reported in the remarks. The numbers that follow are a more precise temperature and dew point report commonly added in the remarks section of METARs. The T stands for temperature, followed by four numbers indicating temperature and four numbers indicating the dew point. The first of the four numbers will be a zero if the temperature or dew point is appropriate is positive and a one if the temperature or dew point is negative. The next three digits state the temperature or dew point to the nearest tenth of a degree. In this example, the Denver METAR lists the temperature as 19 degrees with a dew point of 8 
and the remarks section contains the addition that the temperature is positive 19.4 degrees with a dew point of positive 7.8 degrees. Here are a few more examples of the types of remarks that are commonly seen in a METAR. Pressure rising rapidly. Atmospheric pressure is falling rapidly. The weather described is located further than 10 statute miles away. The weather described is closer than 10 statute miles away. Lightning distant west. Occasional lightning in cloud and cloud to ground. Showers in the vicinity to the east. An automated weather source indicates thunderstorms begin at 25 minutes past the hour. Thunderstorm overhead moving east. Peak wind was from 280 degrees at 45 knots and occurred at 15 minutes past the hour. Wind shift began at 30 minutes past the hour and is associated with frontal passage. Tower visibility is one half mile. Frequent lightning in the vicinity. Rain showers begin at 5 minutes past the hour and ended at 30 minutes past the hour. Snow showers began at 20 minutes past the hour and ended at 55 minutes past the hour. Rain ended and snow began at 42 minutes past the hour. Thunderstorm began at 0159 Zulu and ended at 0230 Zulu. Thunderstorm southeast moving northeast. Hail size is 1 inch. Ceilings variable between 500 and 1000 feet above the ground. Cumulonimbus clouds to the west, moving east. Cumulonimbus mammatus clouds overhead. And sea level pressure not available, NO is in not operating.